channel. In today's video, we are doing a what's for dinner. I have three really yummy meals for you guys. Last week, we did the poll on either what's for dinner or Bisquick meals, and it was a pretty close call. So this video, like I said, is what's for dinner, and next week will be the Bisquick. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoy the video, and I hope you look forward to this video and next week's. Have a great day, everybody. Our first meal is a super easy tomato tortellini soup. I'm just starting by adding about half a cup of red onions into my pan here that I put a few tablespoons of butter in and cooking those down until they're a little bit translucent. Now I'm adding in a can of tomato sauce and two cans of diced tomatoes. I just give that a little stir and now I'm going to add in some rosemary and some oregano. And finally a little bit of pepper and then I'm going to give this a good stir. Next I'm going to add in three cups of chicken broth and half a cup of heavy cream. I give that a good stir and I let this come up to a boil stirring every few minutes. Now that this has come to a boil, I turned down the stove and I grabbed these tortellinis and I'm just going to go ahead and throw those right in. I let that cook for about 8 to 10 minutes, stirring it every once in a while so that the tortellinis didn't get stuck to the bottom. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in my Parmesan cheese. Mix all the cheese in and this is ready to serve. I just paired this with some garlic toast and I have to say, for as easy as this was, this turned out so delicious. I forgot to take a picture of the next recipe, but this is going to be like a cheese burger sloppy joe, so I'm starting by just browning up my hamburger. And I'm just going to season that up with a little bit of salt and pepper and this hamburger seasoning that we have on hand. Now I'm adding in some red onion. You could use any onion you have. I just had red onion on hand. And then I'm going to add in a quarter cup of mayonnaise and three fourths cup of uh, Thousand Island dressing. Give that a really good stir. Once that is all combined, then I'm gonna go ahead and add in the pickles. I just had some baby dills and I probably used about six to eight of those and cut them into little bite-sized pieces. And that is what we're adding next. Now that that's all been combined, we are ready to serve. I toasted up the bun, threw on a piece of cheese and a little bit of lettuce on top. We served that with beans and chips. This was really good. The last recipe is a super simple pasta casserole. I'm starting by spraying down my casserole dish and then I'll take my 16 ounce box of pasta and pour that right in. You can use any pasta you like. We're using the rotini tonight. Then grab a jar of spaghetti sauce. Just pour that right over the top of the noodles. Then you're going to add in three cups of water. I used a little bit of the water inside of the pasta jar. That way I can get all of the pasta sauce out. Mm -hmm. 
Stir that all around, making sure that all of your pasta is covered well with the water and the sauce. If you need a little bit more water, you can certainly add some. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my mozzarella cheese and spread that all over the top. Once that's done, I will take my pepperonis and put that over the top and get this ready to go in the oven. Now I'm just covering this with aluminum foil. I'm gonna bake this in a 425 degree oven for about 25 minutes. After those 25 minutes, I will take this out, add a little bit more cheese and pepperoni to the top, and then go ahead and bake that for another 15 minutes or so. And here is the finished product. I just served that again with a side of garlic toast. This was so simple and delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.